Good morning everyone. I have some great things here uh, that I'm going to run through. It's all survival stuff today, so let's get to it. Okay, so I have all these things here. I'm really excited about the dry bags. I'm going to unbox these things and we're going to go through them together. I've had a massive saving um, on these dry bags. Just to let you know, I've saved about $80. So, super excited. These are the dry bags. Um, I've got three different sizes. Uh, the large one here was $8. That's a 15 litre. The 5 litre bag here... Uh, with six dollars two litre bag four dollars and the one litre bags were two dollars each now these here um, to buy them in the camping store are anywhere from twenty five dollars to thirty six dollars and they are the exact same fabric no difference between them at all and the really expensive ones you cannot submerse them in water either uh, these are waterproof but not for actually submersing into water so no difference guys no difference whatsoever to buying these which i bought in kmart here in australia no difference to buying these ones as to buying the really expensive ones in the um, camping store i researched before i bought them so just a tip for you this is the four different sizes that i have if you haven't seen them before this is what they are they're absolutely fantastic so this bigger one here which is the 15 liter that will fit into your backpack and you can put most of your gear you can put in here and then you can put some other things around it um, but this will keep your clothes dry um, all your fire lighting gear all that kind of stuff so my advice is go out and get some um, and I'll show you how they work They've got the seam down here, which is double stitched and double sealed. So on the bottom here, you just open them like this. Put your stuff in there, like this bag here would be really good for your socks and undies. And then you just close it and lock it into place. They've got little hang hooks here, so you, if you wanted to, you could hang them on the outside of your bag. These ones here, um, which were the one litre size, I paid $2 for this in Kmart. This one here is anywhere starting from, I think, $13.99 in the camping stores. And of course, the bigger one goes up to about $35. But exact same material. These bags are made out of polyester taffeta really really thick so great quality guys bought a, another pack of um, face masks for two dollars and two more emergency ponchos they are polyurethane so you know I mean it wouldn't take too much to to rip them they're lightweight easy to pack that gives us two at the moment two each now I haven't seen these before uh, fire sticks. They have no kerosene in them. Australia owned. A blazing fire first time every time. Barbecues, campfire, fireplace. Of course wash your hands thoroughly afterwards. I'm looking forward to even trying these. That's what they look like. There's 12 in the pack. Of course you'd be able to cut these if you so wish. Yeah I think these would be good. Another packet of Facial pads, um, these are just for the fire lighting. You use these with your petroleum jelly and hand sanitizer um, and they work great. And look what I found. Now it does not say on here that they're Mylar bags, um, but they are resealable foil bags. And if you put hot food in there, it keeps them hot. Uh, you cannot cook in them obviously. But I uh, thought I'd buy a couple of packets. So they were $3 or $4 a packet maybe. These are folded inside here. You can feel they're folded. It's 19 by 24 centimetres. So that's a good size. It might not be as good a quality 
as mylar bags but you can definitely use these for storage even if you don't use it for food you can use it for your phones um, your tablets all that kind of thing just to keep them dry now I keep my eyes open every time I'm in the shops for mylar bags or anything like that um, just in case it's you know out there on the market somewhere because uh, sure as eggs no shops sell them these I actually found in our local cheapy shop and yeah I couldn't believe it when I saw them so yeah super excited with these especially at the price and check this out 10 packs of soap uh, that was just in the local shop two dollars guys two dollars so yeah I'll be putting these away okay so I don't know how good these tools are going to be these were in Kmart um, so this is a six in one multi tool which is this one here um, that's a whistle a compass on the hook and keychain uh, it's got a flashlight uh, with a tactical end on it and it's got a fire starter I know it's only got a short flint but um, nevertheless it's gonna work uh, so I will be trying that out I don't know if I'll do that today um, but yeah guys this was I think it was six bucks uh, in Kmart so as you can see it's on a lanyard um, a nice good length here so you've got plenty to play with you know to do this um, so yeah pretty good and that's a, a nice good solid size so yeah guys this is is really good a lot of these when you buy them are on such a short lanyard that you know you really can't get around to doing this so yeah this is look that's excellent okay so the multi-tool you know feels really solid so let's have a look oh which way that way okay so it's got a can opener or bottle opener it's got a knife it's not real sharp but i can give it a bit of a sharpen we have a uh, can opener by the looks yes it's got a little sharp bit there and a bottle opener not that you really need that um, and a screwdriver that's pretty good guys yeah just from Kmart in the six dollar five piece hiking kit it's a compass this is a reasonable hook and um, yeah so I don't know if you can see there but as I turn it it kind of see that yeah I, I don't know I don't know if it I don't know which way is north south east and west um, not from where I'm facing at the moment so but I, I think that that's right so this is a torch um, it's quite awesome really it's got a rubber grip on it this end bit here um, for the tactical part breaking glass and things it's really quite sharp so you can use that you know knock someone in the face uh, if need be uh, or you know breaking a window so yeah and also in here um if you see there it does have a rubber seal so i don't know how good that one is i can always put a, a thicker one on yeah that one's not real thick but i could always try and put a, a bit thicker one on and of course it just takes the one double a battery so let's give it a try Oh yeah, how bright. All right, so just give me a sec. I'm gonna get something dark um, just to shine it on. All right, so what better than my new dry bag? Let's have a go. 
Yeah, that's pretty bright for the price, guys. This is pretty good. Yeah, so it's a nice colour. I like that. And, of course, you've got your little string here so you can hook that onto, you know, one of these hooks. Okay, this is the whistle. Um, it's made out of alum aluminium. So, yeah, let's give it a go. All right, so here it is. We're going to try it. Cover your ears. <laughs> Well, that's loud. That's an awesome little whistle for a $6 pack of goodies. This whistle is awesome. The hinge on this box is not the best. Um, you know, it probably wouldn't take five minutes for it to break. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, for $6 for all of this... I think it's great value and it all works or good quality but yeah looking forward to trying fire and steel another two packs of um, emergency candles for a dollar each so stock up on these you're going to need them at some point whether it be loss of power you know through floods storms or you know something worse earthquakes you know that kind of thing you are going to need these at some point so stock up on them guys these hooks here, fantastic value. They were $2. $2 in Kmart. And they hold a maximum of 70 kilos. They do have the little locking mechanism in there as well. So I'm going to take it out and have a look. They're perfectly aligned with each other. Um, yeah, they feel, they feel good. Yeah, so they... Look, and, um, yeah, so they just lock in here on this little hook. So they're going to come in really, really handy. You know, if, if you have to climb a rock or something, if you're under 70 kilos. Um, and, or even if you needed to climb a face of a cliff, um, you could attach this to your belt. Tie your rope onto here. And then tie the other end of the rope onto here. And then hook this onto your backpack or your hiking bag or whatever. And you could pull it up. So, yeah, plus you can use them for many other things. Awesome. Okay, so just about everybody uh, has got these. Um, so this here is a little torch. And this, of course, is the multi-tool. Uh, so on there is a screwdriver, bottle opener, can opener, screwdriver. You have your wrench here of different sizes, right up to 14 millimeter. You have a ruler. You've got a little screwdriver here, a box opener, paper cutter. And then, of course, a direction recognition uh, I'm not 100% sure on how to use this, but I do know that there's videos out there that explain. So once I know how to use this direction recognition, I'll do a video on that. But yeah, $2, I uh, can't complain. It's not going to be the sturdiest. And you can also stand your mobile phone on this. So let's open it and have a look. This is stainless steel. Um, yeah, it feels, you know sturdy it says here cell phone stand insert card but there is no card so I'm not sure on that <laughs> the only thing that come with it was this you know obviously which this was in it so yeah but no card with it this is the little torch that come with it as well let's see how bright it is Oh yeah, that's bright too. Wow, that's really bright. That's awesome. That's an awesome little torch. Look at that. And they see, I mean, that's during the day. You know, that's excellent. So yeah, really happy with that. 
This is a LED mini light. Uh, it's got five LED lights in here. So I'm going to take this out and have a look. Uh, this was $2 in Kmart. Pull this out and let's give it a try. Yep, well it works. Not as bright as the torch, but it, it gives you a wider view. So, yeah, if you're looking for something in your bag or anything like that. So, yeah, pretty. That's good. Good value for $2. And yes, you can replace the batteries. It also has three functions. So let's check it. All right. So that's your, your bright torch, I'm guessing. Um, where's that one? Yep, that's a dimmer one. And a flashing one as well. So... Yeah, pretty good for $2. This torch here uh, was $6. Ultra bright light, direct beam. Get a thousand hours out of it. Flash proof design, durable rubber grip. So I, I have the smaller one of this, which lives in my glove box in the car. Let's take it out and have a look. Okay, guys, I'm in the garage. It's really dark in here. I've got the laundry door closed. So now I'm going to try the torch and just see how it goes. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yes, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Awesome torch for six bucks. So this is it. Um, so yeah, I've got to just screw this down. Right, so you do it like that to use your shovel or your saw. Um, and then you would adjust this again to actually use the pick. So let's do that. And right. Okay, now I've got it. So, yeah, you can dig into the ground so yeah this was eight dollars in Kmart so I don't know how good the quality will be obviously it's not a really good one um, but yeah it, it will get it will get us by so yeah but all in all guys I'm really happy with you know the things that I've bought. Um, now how do you? Oh right here. So yeah, you just pack it up like that and pop it back into your bag. And then hook it back onto your backpack. Not bad. Now I said that was the last one, um, but I did have this, um, which I bought. It's a lure box. So, I mean, obviously you probably wouldn't put this in your backpack if you had to bug out. But, um, yeah, I'm going to unwrap it and I'll show you what I'm going to use it for. Yeah, so it has a reasonable hinge. And it is sealed on the inside here. I don't know how waterproof it will be, but it's supposed to be waterproof. The idea of buying this was so I could put some of these fire starters in here along with, um, I've got three of these now, so along with the 
um, fire and steel. Put my tinder containers in here and the petroleum jelly and that in here as well so I can kind of keep it all together. Plus if it is waterproof I will have to check that. Um, yeah that'll work out good. Awesome stuff guys I'm really pleased. Now that's it for all the um, survival goods that I've bought. Uh, but I do have one thing that I just wanted to share with you because I never win anything. This has nothing to do with uh, camping or survival or prepping or anything like that. But I thought I would just share it with you because I'm super excited. Um, never win anything. And luck for me has been on a spiral down. So I got a call the other day um, it's to do with my pets. Uh, Last, not Sunday, just gone, Sunday before that, I went into our local pet store and I had to buy some new toys uh, for the birds and for Shadow, our pet rat. They had a Sunday barrel going, uh, so they told me to write my name and number on the back of a piece of paper and stick it in the barrel. Now, there was hundreds in there, hundreds of um, pieces of paper and I'm guessing, you know, people would have entered many times. So anyway, I got a phone call on Monday um, from Boylan's Pet Store here. And uh, they told me that I was the Sunday Barrel winner. Like, whoa, I didn't even know what the prize was or anything. So when she told me on the phone, it was like I hung up. I couldn't believe it. I was super surprised. And, um, and then I cried. Um, yeah, the tears just come and I cried and I thought, wow, this is just what I needed right now. Something, you know, to, to lift me up. So I'm just going to show you what I won. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. This was one of the items that I won. So it's a 500 watt glass jug blender. Um, they're valued, I think, at about $100. Uh, could be a little bit more. So, yeah, awesome, and it's electronic, and, yeah, so that was really, really nice to win. Um, I'll show you what else I won. Yeah, so Sunday Surprise Gift Voucher from Boylan's Kept, um, Garden and Pets, and I won $100. So I can put that towards anything I want. Um, so, yeah, how awesome is that? So yeah, keep your chin up, guys. I love the containers that these come in. See, they're flat, but they're made out of really, really good um, plastic. I'm not throwing these away. I'm going to keep them because um, I think they'd be really handy. That concludes my video for today. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with what I've got here. It's a total value of just under eighty dollars. I mean, as I said. You know, I've saved a fortune in these dry bags. Great stuff, great stuff. So that's the end. I'm going to have to say bye-bye. Stay safe, take care, and I will catch you next time. Bye for now. Peeky-boo. Peeky-boo. Bye. Bye.